camera and me, Colas Nicole, have lost 130 pounds each. When we started our weight loss journey, we had to like our food. So we discovered portion control. We didn't change anything that we were eating. We ate all the foods that we loved. We just ate less. We believed low calorie, lower fat, balance of carbs and protein really helped us to lose our first 50 pounds in three months and went on to lose 130 pounds. I'm gonna show you a different day of what it was like because we often get asked, well, did you eat the same thing when you were losing weight every day? No, we changed up the meals. I wanna say, I'm not telling you to eat like this. This is what I ate. Whenever we do these, we always get, Nicole, that's too many carbs. Nicole, that's way too much food. I can't do that. That's why this is what my diet was. Eating this, exactly the foods I'm gonna show you, helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. I'm just showing you to help a sister out. You're getting bonuses. We're throwing in some diet hacks along the way. So stay tuned and come on, amigos. Here we are. You're moving your arms extra today. <laughs> this, I was born this way. Let's start with breakfast. Okay. Okay. It's the first normal thing you said so far. <laughs> I love pancakes. So. I like to start my day a lot of the time with some pancakes. This is a apple cinnamon protein pancake mix. It doesn't have to be this exact one. It can be any. There are tons out there, like there's flapjacked, there's P28. Any protein pancakes will pancake mix will do. Make the serving size on the back. So for this, half a cup of batter makes two pancakes, and that's a serving. So I would eat two of these pancakes. Top it with a tablespoon, which looks like this, of sugar-free syrup. This is the Walden Farms Pancake Syrup. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but I always liked adding a little bit of healthy fat. So I would top it with a tablespoon of chopped walnuts. To ensure that I liked my food and I wasn't denying myself treats, I added in a little je ne sais quoi. <laughs> So this is dark chocolate chips. That's uh, French for chocolate chips. <laughs> this is 50% dark chocolate chips. You can use sugar-free chocolate chips too if you want, but this is what was available to me at the time. So this is what I'm showing you. A tablespoon of dark chocolate chips on the pancakes. So that's a great tip that you gave about if, you're, if the friends go out and buy like a protein pancake mix, this goes for any packaged goods. When you're confused about all the diet information out there, look at the serving size on the back. Yeah, because we do get a lot of, how do I know how many portions to eat? Well, I'm gonna show you the exact portions I ate of everything, but what I often did was, okay, I want protein pancakes. What does the serving size on the back say? Do that. And at the end of the week, if I gained weight, then I knew I would have to pull back. And, but if I lost weight, I knew I was on the right track. Yeah, it's a good place to start. Exactly. So then with it, I also like to have some, some more protein. I really liked yogurt because, and Greek yogurt because it was more protein and it gave me a little bit of dairy, which I like having in my diet. So this is the plain fat free Greek yogurt. I always have bought the plain and flavored it myself because I found it's way less calories, carbs, sugar, etc., etc., to do it myself. So half a cup, which looks like this, of the plain fat free Greek yogurt. Then we're gonna spice it up a notch. Then I would spinch in some vanilla. Ooh, vanilla, <laughs> spicy. That means about a teaspoon of spinch. So a teaspoon of vanilla and then some zero calorie sweetener. This is currently my favorite sweetener. It's called Now Better Stevia and it's French vanilla flavor. And wow, it gives you vanilla fra flavored? It gives you vanilla flavored Greek yogurt without the added stuff. Is it better than Stevia? They're not lying. It is better than Stevia. And I would top my yogurt with, and I still eat like this, the frozen berries. So this is a four berry blend. It has strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. You know, for a big bag like that, it's a pretty great value. Always sass coming in with the eyeball roller. <laughs> okay, so that's breakfast. 
That is always enough to keep me satisfied until snack time. One of my favorite things was apples and peanut butter. So this is like the old standby coming in. At, now we use natural peanut butter. In the beginning, we were not ready to make that jump. So this is light, smooth peanut butter. And one tablespoon of that with a small to medium sized apple. I would call this medium. So you slice it up and then you dip Rooney like, you know, like that. You know, when we first started dieting, what natural peanut butter tasted like to us? Cardboard. kept with the normal peanut butter so a tablespoon of that in an apple and then lunch you're gonna see carbs people always comment this too many carbs too many carbs for me lower fat and more carbs worked and I'm a dude that's way bigger than Nicole and I lost a lot of weight eating carbs yeah so if it doesn't work for you cool if it does cool that do your thing this is my thing um, chicken burgers lean chicken burgers these ones are from Walmart so one of these topped with a teaspoon of sugar-free barbecue sauce. And if you're feeling frisky, <laughs> you can add some. Um, you thought that joke was really funny. It was hilarious. If, yeah, a, a teaspoon of light mayo you can add onto your burger. And make sure you guys check at the store. This says light. It's still fairly heavy though. Just pick them all up at the store and get the lightest one. The friends that have been watching for a long time are already rolling their eyes at that joke. This is what a teaspoon looks like again. So spread it on the burger. We're showing you the portion sizes too because we were shocked that you get actually a good serving. Like a tablespoon yeah. of peanut butter is actually really good. A half a cup, you know, is pretty good size. Yeah, in the beginning we were a little bit nervous about how much we'd be eating. Like we thought we'd be really hungry. And of course you're gonna be a little hungry because you're eating less than you're used to. But this kept us full. We were quite surprised. Less than last time. Yes. <laughs> so um, bread on the burger because buns are full of like calories and fat. Millennials are saying, what is bread? Look. What is this bread you speak of? Whoa, look at this. Millennials, this is what bread looks like. <laughs> I'm like, I prefer the thins. They're a little less carbs, a little less calories. For two slices, it's like 140 calories. Toast, two slices. I prefer whole wheat because it's slower digesting and it lasts longer in my system. So toast these babies up. Slap on the barbecue sauce, the mayo. You can even, I enjoy putting lettuce and cucumber and even baby spinach in between on my burger. Aww. Some may say it's gross. <laughs> Aw, baby. You got yourself a lovely lunch. So we got some, a chicken burger with some veggies on it. And also on the side, I like steamed veggies. I always did a cup, This is, and I still do. This is a cup. Baby Brussels sprouts are currently my favorite and sassies as well. Um, any steamed veggies that you like work. We change it up all the time. So a cup of baby Brussels sprouts. You can roast them too if you'd like. Oh yeah, roast them, steam them, whatever. Burger and steamed veggies for lunch. All right, next, moving on to dinner. We have a low carb pita or tortilla, I should say. This I found at a low carb grocery store online in Canada. So one of these with two tablespoons of pizza sauce, any low calorie pizza sauce, and then three ounces of lean protein or a serving of lean deli meat. This is lean black forest ham. You can have three slices in one serving. So sprinkle that on top. Any veggies that you like. Currently, peppers and mushrooms are what I like putting on. And then, either light cheese or fat-free cheese slices. Me I too. use... Uh, <laughs> fairly light. I use two of the fat-free cheese slices to cover the whole thing. Throw it in the oven or in a toaster oven, and bing, your pizza is done. I have eat, I eat pizza now like this, and I ate it before. It's a great way to feel satisfied and still lose weight. And with it, two cups of any salad, like mixed greens, spinach. 
I, I love romaine or like garden salad and then a tablespoon of low calorie dressing. This one is my favorite, the Olive Garden Light Italian Dressing. No, nope, not that light. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I'll handle the jokes. It's oh. much better, much funnier when I do it. And the last one, the last snack. I always save the best for the end of the day. The diet savior. Yes, because you gotta feel like you're loving life and loving your food. So, save the best snack for last. The end of the day, a little treat. Doesn't have to be this exact brand, but any low calorie fudge pop. This one is 90 calories and one gram of fat. It's a fudge smoothie. These are at Zares in Canada, but again, any like 90 to 100 calorie fudge pop, one of those, and half a cup, not half a cup, half a bag, so four cups about, of fat-free popcorn. This is smart, smart, this is smart pop, it's 94% fat free. So four cups of this, and to flavor it a bit, I use the kernel seasoning. So I just sprinkle a bit on. If you want it to stick better, spray some cooking spray on it, and then sprinkle this, and it will stick to the popcorn. Just be wary of the spray though, it adds a lot of fat. The, the, yeah, the sprays can add more calories and fat, so just a little bit. I find it's fine without the spray. I just sprinkle it on and it flavors it perfectly. You ate Smart Pop? I thought you ate Skinny Pop. Not Skinny Pop! Smart, Smart Pop! pop, pop oh yeah, if you're Canadian, then pop. you'll need not just the cheddar on your popcorn. You'll want, if you guys want like a KD mac and cheese with ketchup, Kernels also makes a ketchup. And I combine the two, put both on. Sassy is so smart. He combines them to make flavors. It honestly tastes like when you put ketchup on your KD when you're a kid and I still do it and I'm 45 years old. And I don't even like ketchup on my KD. And Nicole's 55 years old. She <laughs> still does this mix. And I make this mix at 55. And Sass came up with another blend. Look at that. Cheesy you, dill. You hold it. Cheesy. I tried, you wouldn't let me. Cheesy dill. So you can either use the Canadian cheddar if you get it, or the white cheddar and dill pickle. Wow, this I used this last night. This is amazing. Yeah, these are no calorie kernel seasonings. If you're in Canada, in the yeah. States, you probably got lots of different options. A third teaspoon is no calories. So just watch how much you put on your popcorn. Um, and that is it. You're eating popcorn and burgers and pizza and pancakes and peanut butter, what more can you ask for? <laughs> Ice cream, chocolate cake. Ice cream. Oh, you already thought of we it. We did it! All right, the friends, I hope you enjoyed this. This is exactly the some of the meals, meal plan that I ate to lose 50 pounds in three months. Two lose a total of 130. Hope you enjoyed this. Do the bills, like the bills, Instagram at the Colette's, do the stuff, okay? And now, frog in. Hey, hoo ha, hoo ha, hoo, hoo, hoo. And you're done your hit cardio for the day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys. Cold out. Matrix shot. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale, it's also about here and here heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.